Welcome to today's video. My name's Troy, I'm bold, and I collect watches. And on my wrist today, I've got my Star King High B Automatic. This one is gonna be featuring in a future video with a review and a giveaway to help me hit 250 subscribers. I'm talking about subscribers. I've now hit the 100 subscribers. So I bought myself a treat. So straight out of Japan, here is my 100 subscriber celebratory watch. Just a quick unboxing today um, and the reason why I bought this watch. So let's have a little look. No fancy knife today, not like the rest of you guys. I've got a set of, where is it? Look at that, Q Connect, Q Connect scissors. So let's get on in, eh? Might not even have to use them. Just a bit of a letdown. Just use my fingers and thumbs. This was bought off eBay. Fell in love as soon as I saw it. Let's get in. Nice little container. Now look at that. It's protected. So this is straight from Japan. Um, bought on British eBay. Um, obviously on an international seller. And to be honest... It's quite an easy transaction. It was the first transaction I've ever done from Japan, so it won't put me off in the future. Not if it's as easy as that. Uh, we've got some nice green tape there. Look at that. Right. Look at this. We're nearly there, guys. You can fast forward if you want, okay? We're nearly there. But the anticipation, you should actually just keep watching because I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. I believe it's quite rare, this watch. Um, this line, there isn't much information about this line of watch on the internet. So if you do have any info, please pop it in the comments below. And while you're at it, do give a little subscribe and a thumbs up. That would be great. Really, really well packaged. Really well packaged. Look at this little extra package in here. Can you see it, what it is? Look at that beauty. A 1979 Seiko Lord Quartz. Now there is obviously some scratch into the crystal there, which is not the end of the world for me. I mean, look in 1979, it's actually older than me. So, you know, not by much, but it's older than me and I'm not in as good condition as this watch. Now, I did see the new Tissot PRX, the Quartz one be announced and released. Um, I think I saw it on the Watch Chris channel, and as soon as I saw that watch, I fell in love. But I couldn't really justify 300 quid on a quartz watch. Um, now, I'm not bashing quartz at all, obviously. Uh, you've got your Grand Seikos, um, your Longines, your, your high-precision quartz. But I just couldn't fork out 300 quid. This was a fraction of that price. Look at that dial. I don't think anyone can touch Seiko when it comes to the dials. I don't think they can. And you can see why the quartz crisis happened when they were just churning out watches like this. Bring it up closer. There you go. Look at that. So Lord Quartz hitting all the markers. Clasp. The Seiko logo. Um, how do we open it? There we go. So, tidy up this area. It's a bit messy. There you go. It's a bit messy. You want to see it nice, don't you? So it's got that stainless steel sports vibe <clears throat> to it. The Gerald Genta type of a vibe to it. Again, which is just so hot. So hot. But look at that blue. For the applied logo really really happy and that's why i thought i'd go for something a little bit different for hitting 100 subscribers not something i want to flip future uh, down in uh, down the line in the future but something i'm going to keep um do you know i i i'd probably look more at this line and maybe add a few different variants i have seen a uh, like a snowflake dial of the lord quartz and from what i know they were positioned just lower than the king quartz which was released by Seiko. Um, the Lord Quartz was just a, a, a brand or a line underneath. But that's as much as I know. And, and three years in production. 
Look at that. Look at the polishing on it. It's just in amazing condition. Should we see how it wears? I was worried about the actual size. So remember, guys, there's the high beat automatic star king probably the best high beat automatic money can buy you on aliexpress there will be a video coming out giving this watch away so keep an eye for a future video make sure you're subscribed let's see how the seiko wears so i mean i'm gonna have to take some links out but there you go from this side of the camera my light there you go that wears really really well i'll give you guys a closer look again and again thank you guys for getting me up to 100 subscribers it really is appreciated um, I've got something to celebrate that achievement, but I wouldn't have really hit that achievement without you guys watching my videos and hitting the, uh, the subscribe button. So it is appreciated. I hope you like this watch. Um, like I said, if you do know information about this, it, I would really appreciate you popping it in the comments because I can't find much information. Um, hope you're all well, guys. And I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. Remember, check this one out as well. This is going to be probably in the next few days on a giveaway. You can find me on Instagram as well, the Bold Watch Collector. Um, that's it really, guys. I hope you stay safe, keep well, and if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.